Amen. Today is a great day in this land. Yo rana che me kirima sausai awanangari. Those whose eyes can be opened spiritually, they will wonder which people entered into Donga today. Wadanda ida nusu ze bude ida nuta rohania zasu ima machi suwa da nene nesu kashiga garin Donga ayau. When Jesus was born, the wise men saw his star in the sky. Loko chindai akai ai huwari yesu. Masu hikima nan suka gantam rerinsa asarari. Preachers have been coming, but preacher has come. Masu wa azisunchu masu na azua. Ama me wa azi yazo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, those who sit to the spiritual realm will be asking what has happened. Who came to Donga today because angels have taken up everywhere. Nache Masu Rayua Terohania Zasu Itambea Wanene Yazo Donga Harda Malekusuka Soko Donga Yo Harasundo Chimataki. A spiritual siren blew in the city as Jesus was moving to this place. Kirari, Tarohania, Ya Halagba, Achikin Garin Donga, Ya in the Yesu Yena Yao Achikin Donga, and was moving to this place, to this field. Harma Yena Tai. Zua yena zua atikin wana wuringangami. And now announce to you, Jesus has come here. Yenzu ina sanari daku chewa yesu yariga yash zonan. Now we are going to welcome Jesus and appreciate him, our Lord and our Savior. Yenzu zamu geichi yesu. Mukuma inferin chiki. She may che tomu kumashi alamu. Now sing this song in the welcome of the Lord. We welcome the Father. We welcome the Son. We welcome the Holy Ghost in our midst. We welcome the Father. We welcome the Son. We welcome the Holy Ghost in our midst, in our midst. We welcome the Father. Welcome him. We welcome, welcome him. Son. Hallelujah. We welcome Thank the you, Holy Jesus. Holy Ghost in our midst. We welcome the Father. We welcome the Son. We welcome the Holy Ghost in our midst. Into our midst. We welcome the Father. We welcome the Son. We welcome the Spirit in our midst. We welcome the Father. We welcome the Son. We welcome the Holy Ghost in our midst. Now lift up your voice and say, Lord Jesus, you are welcome into Donga. Say it, say it.
it, say it, say it. We welcome you, Lord Jesus. We welcome you, Lord Jesus. You have come to your people. You love this people. You love this land. You have come to this land. You have come to bless the people. You have come to serve them. You have come to give them the kingdom. You have come to prepare people among them for your soul. You have come to deliver them from the devil. You are welcome, Lord Jesus. We are welcome, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Give a mighty welcome, a clap offering in praise, in worship to the Lord Jesus, to the Creator Himself. He is here. His power will be manifest. His, his salvation is coming out upon you. <laughs> Jesus name we pray. Almighty Father, we bless you, Lord divine. You are welcome to Donga, Lord. You are welcome to this place. You created this place. You created this people. You have come to serve them. You have come. A few have cried out unto you. They cried for themselves. They cried for their brethren. They cried for the people of the land. Welcome Jesus. Thank you for sending us here. In Jesus name we pray. We can be seated. Let God be true and every man a liar. That is what the Lord has led on me to talk to you. Let God be true and every man a liar. You get this from the book of Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3 verse 1. Romans chapter 3 verse 1. Romans chapter 3 verse 1. To verse 4. What advantage then have the Jew? Or what profit is there of the circumcision? You know what? I Fifiko Bayaudifa Menene kwa Amfani Katia Much every word because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. They were the Kowache Fuska, the Farko de Domisu, Ne Akan Amin Chesu, the Ajia Zantantukan Allah. For what? If some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Gama koda wadasun mutane suka rasa bangaskia meke nang rasim bangaskia su zata wafinta aminching Allah. God forbid. Yeah. Let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. That a e but he Allah ya zama me gaskia koda ko wache mutun makariyatini kamariyeda anrubuta domain kamarata chicken zantan tutun kang kang ka karin jaye ko 
Koma sada shika hukunchi. Now, this scripture is saying if every man chooses to be a liar, it will not change God. God will remain the true God. Yenzukwa, wonen aya, tana chewa, idam mutun ya bida, yezama me kariya, koma kariyechi, baze chenja sifar Allah ba. If every man chooses not to believe in Jesus, it doesn't change God. God remains true and eternal. Ko wene da ya ki kaskantawa Yesu ba zai canja Ubangiji ba. Allah shi Allah ne ba zai canja shi ba. If you will not accept Jesus, it does not make difference, does not affect God. God remains true. He remains eternal. Idan kai ka ki gaskanta da Allah, babu sakiya a rayuwar Allah. Saboda Allah zai zama din 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 madawami. This is because man loves lie. Saboda mutun yana so rayuwa sosai. Man loves falsehood. Mutun yana so abin da ya zama kariya he is not he is more attracted to lies than to truth yana marimarin karbi kariya fiye da gaskiya if for example we have come here with some other things to sell pure water to sell oil to do some fake miracles this place would have been filled with real men da ce zuwa mu anan mun zo ne musamman da mun musar da ruwa musar da man shafa musar da wadansu abubuwa da wannan wurin ya cika if we had come to tell you some lies mean love lies and they would have crowded this place da dama mun zo ne domin mu yi muku kariya mutane suna son kariya da sun cika annan gaba ki da man is used to telling lies mutun ya sabada fadin kariya but God is true. Ama Allah gaskiya ne. His ways are true. Hanyo Isa na gaskiya ne. His word is dependable. The word is true. Kalmar sa. Kalma ne na akika. Kalma ne wande ya zama gaskiya. And he wants true people. People who want truth to come to him. Yena bida the bible says the light has come to the world but men love darkness more than the light because they love lie more than the truth suna kaunar duhufiye da haske man is under the spirit of truth man or men are under the spirit of truth the control of the spirit of lie rather mutane suna na a karkashin kariya ikon kariya ne yake mulki a rayuwar su jesus saw some people and said you are of your father the devil Yesu ya gan wayen su mutane ya ga musu ku ayan uban ku ne shedan because you are not doing the truth saboda ba kwa aikata gaskiya you are not interested in the truth ba kwa marimari sanin gaskiya you love lie kuna son kariya you are living in lies kuna zaman kariya in John chapter 8 verse 44 Yohana sura takwas aya arbai inda hudu ye are of your father the devil kun zama ku na uban ku shedan ne and the loss of your father ye will do kashi kashi na uban ku kuma kuna da nufi ku yi he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. She may kiss and kaine tun daga farko baya tsaya akan gaskiya ba 
Domi babu gaskia a chicken sa. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Sanda yake yin kariya domi kansa yake yi gama makariya ce ne shi da uban kariya kuma. Yes, apart from the God of truth that lives in the world, the creator of the world, there is the spirit of lie, which is Satan, that is controlling human beings. Hakane, bandama uba na kariya da yake azama aduni akwe ru na du da yake malaka anan dunia. When you don't love God, the God of truth, you love Satan, the spirit of a lie. Iramba kama song Allah. Allah da ya zama mai gaskiya tabbatace ne kana son shedan ruhun kariya yana cikin ka when you don't follow god the god of truth then you are following satan the spirit of lie idan ma baka bin Allah Allah uban gaskiya aka kwa kana bin shedan ruhu na kariya yana cikin ka satan is a liar Shaitan makariya chine. His words are lies. Kalmo misa na kariya ne. If the if satanic preachers come here, they will be telling you lies. Idan masu wa azin shaitan sunzo nang zasuri kaga ya muku kariya because they are of Satan. Sabo da su sunza mana shaitan ne. Yes, the works of Satan are lies. Haka kwa ayu kan shetan sun zama na kariya ne even the miracles that satan will do for you they are lies ko al'ajibaima wanda shetan zai yi maka sun zama kariya ne they look surprising you wonder at them but the bible called them calls them lying wonders sun zama abun mamaki ne gare ka kai ma kana mamaki domin ganin su amma litafi mai sarki ya kira cewa al'ajibe na kariya the activities of the devil be it in church or in the society are activities of lies ayyuka na shedan da suna faruwa a cikin kasa sun zama ayyuka na kariya ne the people of satan are liars mutane da sun zama na shedan sun zama makariya ta The Bible tells us about man and lying. Litai mai tsarki yayi mana magana game da mutum da kuma kariya. The Bible is talking about you. Litai mai tsarki yana magana game da kai. He said in the book of Psalm 50 58 verse 3. Yayi magana a cikin litafin Zabura an sin da takwas aya 3. Psalm 58 I read verse 3 Zabura sura so Zabura and sin the takwas aya uku The wicked are estranged from the womb they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies Miyagu sun ware dama tun daka cikin ciki tun haiwar su sukan rate hanya suna yin kariya Have you noticed this about yourself? Ko ka iya gane wannan game da kai that immediately when you were born as you were growing up naturally lies followed you. Tun lokaci da aka aihu aka aihuwar ka yayin da kana girma kariya yana bin ka you will never accept that you were the one that did the wrong. Be kare ka ce kai ne ka aikata wannan abumunan abu you were always protecting yourself with lies kana kare kanka kullu yomi saboda kariya you will take things that are not your own and you will defend it by saying it is yours kana iya dauka abubuwan da ba su zama naka ba amma kana tayayya ka ce naka ne and of course that spirit is following you up to now hakika wannan ruhu yana bin ka har ma yau That's why Jesus says you are of your father the devil. Yes sir. Yes you che. Ka zama na uban ka ne shedan because he was a liar from the beginning. 
saboda shi makarici makarici ne tun da farko he is the one that trains people up to tell lies shi ne yana koyar da mutane domin su yi karya how can you thinking today that you are a christian but Go out and say no. You are of your father, the devil, because you are a liar. Taya ya, yau kana ganin kanka Krista ne, amma Allah yana cewa aa, kai na uban kani shetan domi kai makariyachi ne. How can you be thinking you're going to heaven when God said no? No, you are a liar. You are a child of the devil, and you you are doing the will of your father, the devil. We all the time. La is in your mouth. Tayaya, daka che, daka tafisama. Ama uba uwenge chie chie. Ah, kai kaza mana shetan ne. Kana ai katano fin shetan. God domi me ne ne kai makaria chine. The wicked immediately they are born. They are separate from God, the God of truth. They are not with the God of truth. They are not doing the truth. They are not speaking the truth. They are not walking in the truth. They go away. Start speaking lies. Mia gumutani ya inda aka yi besu nan dan nan suna rabuwa da Allah suna aikata kariya suna fadi kariya suna kin aikata gaskiya domin su ba tare da Allah suke ba and god hates lies Allah yana kin kariya in proverbs chapter 6 verse 19 kari magana sura 6 aya 19 proverbs chapter 6 verse 19 kari magana Sura shida aya 19 Now it tells us what God hates let's read from verse 16 then we can go to 19 Yana koya mana yana gaya mana abunda Allah ke ki zamu karanta zamu fara daga aya 16 zuwa 19 These six things that the Lord hate yeah seven are an abomination unto him Akwai abu shida wanda ubangiji ya ki i har bakwai ma wanda ransa yake kamar su i'm saying this so that you will be repenting before god of your ways ina fadan wannan ne musamman domin ka fara tuba ka gyara rayuwanka gaban allah as i'm speaking your marital life is coming before you how you tell your husband lies yanda nake magana ga me da aure yanzu ina memeta maka yana gaya miki yanda kin kin kariya ma mai gidanki as i'm speaking you you your life your family life is coming to you because you tell your wife and children lies yanda nake wannan magana sai kana fara tunane game da rayuwan kariya da kai wa iyalinka matanka da ayanka as i'm talking your mind is running round because many things you have as your possession which you have in your hand now you got them by lies yanda nake magana ka fara tunani da yawa cikin abubuwan da ka tara ba naka bane ka same su a hanya ne da bai dace ba because that little tongue that is in your mouth is doing great harm and is destroying your life saboda karmin harshen nan da ke bakin ka yana yin abu mai yawa sosai kuma yana halakar da kai yes these six things that the lord had seven things he does not want to see them in your life haka kuwa akwai abu shida wanda ubangiji yake ki har ma bakwai wanda baya bukatan ganin su a rayuwanka a proud look idanu masu alfama you are looking proud kana girman kai you think you are better and greater than other people kana gani ka fi soran mutane har ma kana da amfani fiye da su you look down on other people why you are a proud man kare na soran mutane saboda me ka zama mai girman kai maybe you are joining your family to look proud against other families me yuwa ka da kai da iyalin ka har kana rena sora iyalai for the things of this world that are passing away saboda abubuwan duniyan nan da suna shudewa maybe you're joining your tribe to look down on other tribes because of some tribal advantage me yuwa ka riga ka ka hada kai da kabilan ka har ma kana rena sora kabilu 
Maybe because of your education too, you have this degree, you have, so you look down on the other people, on the other people they don't have anything. I am greater than them. Me you are some of the karatu, the illumin, the kache, the she, harikare, and so on, mutani kache, ni nafisu. Maybe you say, I am very handsome, I am very beautiful. So you look down on other creatures of God. Me you are, can I chew, I need not a chow, ni kachewani, so on. God hates pride. Yes, a lying tongue. Can you see that? The God hates them. God looks at lies more than you look at somebody's excreta. Kama harma fie da yenda kana gani abunda ana che ba be kamata aiba wato kashi. God hates to see your lies. If more than you hate to see somebody's own excreta, you run. You don't want. You turn away your eyes. God hates lies. Kama yenda idang unkagan ba yangu da koko akashi ba kama soka gani zeka juu kate kai ba kama soka gani Allah yena ching karia harma fie da haka. Yeah. Hakani. And hands that shed innocent blood. Hey, you are a doctor and you are committing abortion for all these wayward women. You are a young man. You pregnant ladies and give them money to go and shed innocent blood of that child kaza mama ta shine kana ba da kudi ma wai inda ka ba su ciki domin su je su yi abortion su kashe jariri wanda bai san komai ba you are a girl you have committed several five abortions god hates the ke kin zama na mace karma budurwa ki abortion har ma so bakwai ubangiji yana gaba da wannan yes you go about killing people can I yaw, can I kiss a mutani? You can just see somebody, say, Lord, say, Lord, bah, let him die. Can I, can I do that? Can I get anyone away? Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I do that? Do you know who sent him to this world? Cast him when they are I coach in Antonia. Do you know that the God sent that person to the world has a reason why he's in the world? Co Cassani, she Allah and they are I coach in Antonia. You know the delil in the essay. She era you. Now that you killed him, what did he do against you? You wanted. You have wronged God. You have blocked the way of God. You have stopped the vision of God for humanity by bringing that man to life. Yanzunda kaka sheshi, karabashi de rayua, karabashi de chinga ba haruma kai zunubi ma wanda ya aikoshi dunia domi era you. God hates that. Ubangiji yena gabada wannan. Ye hakani. Feet. Feet. He said, and heart that devised wicked imaginations that sit down like this and begin to think and imagine wicked thing to do. Zuchia metiro da mugayu mugayu tunani you are always thinking the evil you would do to people you always sit down among your friends and all you are even the one leading them planning the next evil to do to humanity kana iya zama tare da abokaninka har ma me yiwa kai ne kake shugabancin su the, the creator hates that. He didn't give you a heart to give to Satan. That is what the Lord is saying. And he said, and feet that be swift in running to mischief. And heart that devised, I mean, he said, verse 19, a false witness that speaketh lies. Ayatashatara, 
mai shaidan zuru wanda yake furta futawa da kariya you are to give a witness between this person and that person and you know that this person did evil to his fellow you know that he did evil but they bribe you or you want to show false love you begin to tell lies against the innocent ka samu zarafi domin fa da gaskiya ka sheda sakanin wannan da wannan amma saboda ka karba toshiya ko kuma ya canja tunanin ka sai kai kariya ma wancan and because you told lies against the innocent some of the innocent people are in prison today suffering because of your lying lie wa inda ba su da tabo wa inda ba su da laifi da kai wa musu kariya da yawa yau suna cikin kurkuku some of those people some of those people that you you told lies against have even died because of your tongue da yawa a cikin wa inda kai musu kariya suniga sun mutu saboda harshen ka then he said and he that saw with discord among brethren da ya kare da cewa da mai shimkan anamin ce takannin yan uwa you are the third person among two among three women ka kin zama daya a cikin mata uku you just you want to separate them amma kina so ki raba su then you go to the the woman a kin je urin mace a you say do you know what uh, this woman was talking about you kin ga mata cewa kin san abin da wacin can tana magana akan ki she told me you are a witch ta ga mun cewa ke mai ya ce me ni yes how can he he said he dream up about you three times ta ce ta yi mafarki game da ke so uku then he turned to he came to the second one sai ta koma ga mace na biyu do you know what uh, debora said ko kin san abin da debora ta fada he told me that he will soon die ta ga mun cewa ba za ki juma ba za ki mutu debora told me that you you will soon die debora ta ga mun cewa ba za ki juma ba za ki mutu why for what i can't mean he said god will judge you cewa allah zai sharanta ki trouble has come between two women da mu ya tashi sakanin mata biyu you are the one that got to cause that trouble amma ke ce kika kawo wannan fitina sakanin su go hate it ubangiji yana ki as you so discord between husband and wife kana iya hada sa damuwa sakanin ma aura na miji da na mace The Bible tells us a king that listens to liars will will hate his people. Lita hu me sarki yace sarki da yana jin makariyata zai yi gaba da mutanen sa. Because they come and say do you know that person? Saboda za su zo su ce ka san wancan mutum. This is what this what he said about you. ya fada haka ya fada aka kaza game da kai you see he had, i was there ka ce mi ina ma a wurin i was there ina a wurin in fact many people were there banda wannan ma dewa ma mutane dewa su a wajen he was busting and say what can you do to him yin har ma yana fariya cewa me da kai mishi if that king is not a wise man imma wannan can sarkin ba sarki mai wayo bane to check those things up very well ya binci ka wai can abubuwa din da kyau he will only be pursuing the other person to do him evil zai iya yana bin da wancan din domin yayi mishi mugunta wa saboda me the king the ruler that hakins to lies definitely will have problem with his people amma sarki ko kwa shugaba da yana jin muri muryan kariya zai ma mutanen sa mummunan abu that is what the word of god is saying in proverbs chapter 29 verse 12 wannan shine abin da kalmar allah yake fada kare magana sura 29 verse 12 aya 12 if a ruler hakin to lies all his servants are wicked idan mai mulki 
ya kasa kunne ga jin kariya dukan barorin sa za su zama miyagu he even the good servants that are to help him he will be seen them as wicked why lying tongue ai ma da mutane da ya kamata su tu taimaka masa amma zai ganka gan su kama mu muna mutane ne saboda kariya the person that is telling you lies and you are believing the lies that person actually is destroying your life do wanda yake gaya maka kariya kana kuma amince da shi wancan mutun zai halaka da rayuwan the person that is telling you lies over your wife lies over your husband lies over your children and you are living that lie is destroying your family do wanda yake maka kariya akan matanka kariya akan yayanka kariya akan migidanki yana shirye ne domin ya halaka da rayuwanka the person that is telling the ruler of a city lies is destroying the government of that ruler do wanda yake gayawa shugaba na kasa kariya yana kokari halaka da rayuwan wancan sarki don't take interest in lies kar ka yi marimari akan kariya ba that is what the word of god is telling us wanna ita ce abinda kalmar allah yake gaya mana but what interests in us is lies abinda yake ba masu zunubi marimari shine kariya look at it in the book of psalm 66 62 verse 4 Muduba Zabura 62 aya hudu what in treasonous is lies abanda masu zunubi suke marmari shine kariya you want to hear lies kana so ka ji kariya they only consult to cast him down from his excellency they delight in lies they bless with their mouth but the curse in worldly basu basu shawara komi basu so ture ture shi daka daukakan sa suna jin dadin kariya suna sa albarka da baka amma daka zuciyar su suna la'anta la'anta suwa if so if the devil wants to make you separate from your father separate from your brother is just to come and speak lies idan iblis yana so ya raba ka da da uban ka ya raba ka da yan uwa ya raba ka da maifin ka zai zo ya kawo kalman kariya you how many people have you separated to from each other because of your lying tongue kai kuma fa mutane nawa ka raba saboda ka raba su da zaman lafiya saboda arshin ka na kariya because through lying you get money saboda kariya ka amshi kudi through lying they can promote you saboda kariya za a girma maka you think the good is in lying ka dauka abu mai kyau yana cikin kariya the creator of the world the creator of your life hates lying mahalicin duniya malicin ka yana gaba da kariya that is what god wants you to know abunda allah yake bukata ka sani in psalm 78 verse 36 zabura 76 zabura 78 78 verse 36 zabura 78 aya 38 da shida 30 da shida never delays they did flatter him with their mouth and they lied unto him with their tongues suka yi masa dadin baki suka suka yi masa kariya da harshen su children see how you lie unto your father ya ya ku duba yadda kuka yi wa ubanin ku kariya you acted lie kun aikata kariya wife see how you lied unto your husband mace ki duba yanda kika yi wa mai gidanki kariya many women would tell their husbands i i have never known man as since i was born i kept myself no man has touched me but it is a lie mata dewa suna iya gawa mazansu 
ni bantaba sani na mujiba tunda aka aifeni bantaba sani na mujiba amakariane i say the wicked turn away from god and go in and goes into lie right immediately he is born na gaya muku mi agusuna rabuwa suna juye bayawa allah tun lokacin da nan dan nan aka haife su lie kariya some sit down and forge lies wadan su suna zauna sai su sarafa kariya in the book of job chapter 13 verse 14 ayuba sura 13 aya 14 job 13 verse 14 ayuba sura 13 aya 14 where for do i take my flesh in my teeth and put my life in my hand komi ya faru komi ya faru zan gwada arziki now i'm talking here about forging of lies and now ina magana akan sarafa kariya job 13 verse 4 Uh, ayuba sura 13 aya 4 but ye are forgers of lies ye are all physicians of no value amma ku masu kiran kariya ne masu maganin banza dukan ku the certificate you are holding is not your own you are a liar you forge the certificate takadan ilimi da kana rike da shi ba naka bane amma ka sarfa shi na kariya ne the result that you have in your own certificate is not a true result it is a forgery takadan ilimi ko kwa result wanda yana hannun ka ba naka bane amma kariya ne kai a ciki The land you are occupying is not your land you forge the document wannan fili da kake mallakanta ba filin ka bane amma ka je ka sarafa shi na kariya ne i'm telling you what people are doing ina kaya muku abin da mutane suke yi our god is the god of truth allah mu allah gaskiya ne but where are the cre- the creatures all liars me yes ad halitu tu sun zama makariyata where are the mean lying mutane suna kariya where are the women lying mesa mata suna kariya where are the children all children of lies mesa ya ya sun zama ya yan kariya that is the concern of god wanna abun ya dame allah so say yes hakani is the concern of the almighty abun ya dame allah madawami so say let somebody say he's a christian bari wani ya ce shi christian ne if the first thing that will happen to show that ah oh, this man's christianity is under question mark he is turning away you will see lies in him abun na farko da zai sa shi da iya gane cewa shi bai zama christian na kore ba kariya zai shiga ciki check up with many pastors you will see lies ka duba pastoci da yawa zaka gan kariya like how many people are seated here they say ah the crusade of donga was great we have 50000 people in attendance a za iya tambaya mutane kamar yanda mutane suna zaune in an tambaye su mutane na wasu ka zo crusade din za su ce ai dubu an sin crusading <laughs> yayi ya bunkasa somebody said so satan the father of lies so far a lot from demons when he yace shedan da ya zama uban makariya ta yana shan wahala sosai a hannun aljannu because since that kingdom is a kingdom of lies they don't tell the truth there da yake mulkin su ya zama mulkin kariya ne basu ma fada gaskiya a cikin mulkin din when satan asks a demon did you go to that city he said hey, hey, master nobody is alive again in that city i've finished it idan shaitan ya tambaye aljanni 
kaje wancan birnin ne aljannin zai ce a shugaba ba koma birnin kuma na gama da shi when satan comes to that city everybody is moving up and down free nothing has happened there yes you are a father of lies you are raising children and demons of lies and you will suffer from their lies idan shaitan idan shaitan ya je wannan birnin ya ga mutane suna yawo rare irayeye to gashi shaitan kai ka zama uba makariyata kuma kana rayuwar kariya ne gashi kana wahala saboda kariya Yes in in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 40 Ishaya sura 40 aya 40 Isaiah chapter 40 I read verse 40 Ishaya sura 40 aya 40 I'm talking about people that turn aside into lies Ina magana ne game da mutane da suka juya saboda kariya they turn aside they backslide and they become liars sun juya suka yi awun baya sun zama makariyata it is psalm 40 verse 4 psalm 40 verse 4 zabura 40 aya 4 the bible tells us here of those people litai mai sarki ya gaya mana game da wayannan mutane blessed is that man that make the lord his trust and respected not the proud no such as turn aside to lies mai albarka ne mutum wanda ya mai da ubangiji abin dogarar sa baya ba da girma ga masu girman kai da wadansu ke da wadanda ke suke wadanda ke ratse wajen kariya ba you say you are a child of god you are backslidden because lies are in your mouth now ka ce kai ka zama dan allah ne amma kana awun baya saboda kariya na bakin ka that is the life of sinners ita ce rayuwa masu zunubi let god be true and every man a liar bari allah ya zama mai gaskiya kowane mutum kuwa mai kariya they fight with lies the war real war is going on they fight each other but with lies ana yaki ana fada suna fada da junan su sosai saboda kariya jeremiah chapter 9 verse 3 to 5 irimiya sura 9 daga aya 3 zuwa 5 you are fighting people by telling lies against them kana yaki mutane saboda kana musu kariya Yes and they bend their tongues like their bow for lies but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth for they proceed from evil to evil and they know not me see the law suka tausayi haushe kamar baka domin kariya sun karfa fa kansu cikin duniya amma ba dun gaskiya ba gama da mugunta zuwa mugunta suke cikin gaba ba ba su kwa sani ba inji ubangije you want to do evil you are telling lies kana so ka aikata mugunta kana kariya you you gather people to, so that they can fight one person by your telling lies to those people katara mutane saboda za su yaki mutun daya amma kana kariya somebody talk about a man wani yayi magana game da wani he said if i want to fight a man overcome a man i tell seven lies against him cewa idan ina son in kure wannan mutum in kashe shi zai masa kariya guda bakwai seven lies kariya guda bakwai if he defends lie one people will say mhm idan ya iya kare kanshi saboda kariya na farko mutane za su ce aha if it defends lie to people say mhm idan ya kare kanshi game da kariya na biyu mutane za su ce mhm by the time he is saying even the number 5 thing is a lie people say ah ah ba amma tun ma in yana cewa kariya na biyar din nan ba gaskiya bane mutane za su ce ah ah You mean you cannot accept any one thing? Zasu tambaye shi kana nufi ba za ka yadda ko daya a cikin su ba. By the time the man is still saying the number 16 is still a lie against him, 
Many people want to leave. This man is not ready. He's not ready to tell the truth. That is the tactics of a sinner, of a wicked person. Yainda yache nashida dinna maba gaskiaba dewa zasu imari mari subaru wajen zasu che wana mutumbe ini aba. I am telling you what the Lord hates. Ina kaya muku abunda Allah ke gabada shi. I am telling you what you do and God is angry with you. Ina kaya muku abunda kuche hii da Allah yana fushi da mu. That little thing in your mouth called the tongue is doing great work more than ordinary fire on the earth. Karimi arishen nanda ke abba chinka. Karimi wana karimi abu wanda ake chira arishen. Yena ya ki so say fie da wuta. That is what you need to understand. Itache apunde kamata kasani. They protect themselves with lies. Suna kare kansu da karia. Sinners protect themselves with lies. Masusu nubi suna kare kansu da karia. In the book of Isaiah. Atikil litafi ishaya. Chapter 28. Sura ashirinda takwas. Verse 15. Aya goma shabir. Yes. Verse 15 to verse 17. Aya shabir zua aya shabakwe. Let me read from verse 14. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord. Yes, confirm men that rule these people which is in Jerusalem. Domi wannam fa kuji maganar ubengeji ku masu rena ko ku da kuche mulchi because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement when the overflowing scourge shall pass through it shall not come unto us for we have made lies our refuge and under and under under falsehood have we hid ourselves balai merigo merija wa za ya ya rasa ba za ya zo wurin mu ba gama mun meda kariya makaman mu mun boya kuma a karkashin kariya you say you, 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 lie has protect you, protected you. The lying certificate that you gave them and they have filed it. Now you are sitting quiet and say, yes, I am really a degree holder. I am this by lies. And you're sitting on that lie. You have made lie your protection. Kana amfani da kariya kakare kanka. Kado chi certificate. Wanda ba kaini kaiba. Kena gaya wa muta nikai digri. Harika na zama akai. Da wanankari yang kena kare kanka. It's because of the lies you told. That is why that man married you. It's because of the lies you have told. That's why that woman married. Them. That woman got married to you. And now you have made lie. Your marriage. You are sitting under a marriage formulated by lies. Sabo da kari ya da kai wa mutu minchang. Shine yesa ya aureka. Ya aureka. Sabo da kariya da kika yuwa mutumin chan Shini yesa ya aureki Yenzu da kariya na china kareka Nchi china kumazama akai Yes Hakani That's what human sinners have done Abunda masuzu nubi sukei Which way are you a child of Satan? Wani hanya ni kaza matan shetan God is not happy with you you are not pleasing God with your tongue. You are doing evil with your tongue. Whatever you say you are gaining, you are gaining lies. Do one riba. Dakache Samu Wayanzu. Kana Samu Riba Kariani. What about in the church? Ya, 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 gameda iklisia. La is going on also in the church where God is not there, where Satan is in control. 
kariya na mallakan iklisiya wanda ba ba Allah a ciki wanda shedan ne yake mulki in the book of first john chapter 1 verse 5 and verse 6 yahaya yahaya tafari sura 1 aya 5 da aya 6 this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Wana ita che sako na farko da muka gaya muku che wa Allah shi askene babu kariya achikinsa. God is light. Ubangiji Allah shi azama haskene. There is no darkness in God. Babu duhu achikinsa. God is the truth. Allah gaskiyane there's no lie in God. Babu kariya a cikin Allah. God is righteous and holy. Allah shi mai adalci ne kuma mai tsarki ne. There's no sin in God. Babu zunubi a cikin Allah. Now in verse 6 if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth aya ta shida gama idan mun ce muna zumunci da Allah amma kuma ba mu tafiya cikin gaskiya ba ba mu na a cikin haske muna cikin duhu that pastor that says the man of god and i say is your pastor and that is looking to sleep with you is not is a liar he does not know god He's telling you lie that he's a, he's a Christian. One and pastor, the yake ce wa shi ya zama mutumin Allah ne har ma yana fama ya kwana da ke ba shi ba pastor gaskiya ba ne amma makariyaci ne. God choir master that is singing I'm turning for God I say it's for Jesus I love Jesus but it's touching you asking you to come for he will sleep with you has even pregnant a lady it's a liar it's not is the truth is not in him it's a child of the devil wannan shugaban mawaka da yake shi ya zama dan Allah ne yana tattabaki har ma yana ga yatan ciki zo ku yi lalata har ya iya ba ma wannan su ciki shi wannan ma shugaban mawakan bayana a cikin gaskiya ba yana cikin kariya yana cikin duhu that woman that is doing well in the church but is in witchcraft is it that elder that is in witchcraft in the church and is saying is god is for god he will off, offer long prayers he will read the bible he would is a liar he does not do god when um diana chicken ecclesia kok mama tana the tana chicken ecclesia na chewa nina allah ni harina kwazo so say a mama yache ma ye ne one chamba na Allah bane na na duhu ne you who attend church you have been going to church all these years but you're still a drunkard you have going to church all these years but you still even still in the government and everywhere you are a liar you are not a christian you're telling lies you're going to church to pretend you are not a christian ko wayin da kuna cewa ai kun zama ayan Allah ne kuna tafiya ecclesia ko wani lokaci kuna ai kuna da kwazo kuna yin haka amma mashaya ne makariyata ne kuma masu masu sata ne kuna iya sata ma a gwamnati ku ba mutanen gaskiya bane makariyata ne yes man he turns away from truth when he is born mutun ya juye bayawa gaskiya a lokacin da aka ife shi why god is saying this is that God should be justified when he is judged. Nobody should point hand against God when he is bringing judgment on people. Dalilin da yasa Allah yana wannan magana domin shi mai aminci ne ba za a same shi da laifi ba yayin da yana sharanta ma mutane. Nobody should point hand and say God should be condemned that God has not done well when God is punishing people. Ba wanda zai kashe Allah ya ba wa Allah lefi yayin da yana sharanta mutane ya ce Allah bai yi daidai ba babu dong is telling lies harshen su na fada kariya what they are not they will tell you they are abinda basu kai ba za su ce su sun kai what they 
cannot do, they will tell you they can do it. What they have done, they will tell you they didn't do it. Children of lies. Now, what about the prophets? The prophets also prophesy lies. The prophets prophesy lies. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 14. The prophets will never speak the truth, they will tell lies. They will, the things that didn't happen, they will say it happened. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I send them not, neither have I commanded them, neither speak unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their own heart. Say, Annabawa suna anna chinkaria da sunana bang aike suba bang kwa umurche suba bang kwa yi masu magana ba suna yi moku anna chi da ruya takaria da duba wa da ai aikin wofi da runduna nzuchi yarsu. Can you see? I didn't send him to be a pastor. He went up telling you lies and changing my truth so that you should you should all turn away from me. Kakwa gani ni ban aike shi ba ban iya ba shi sako ba ya juya kan shi ya zama pastor domin yayi maka kariya domin ka yadda da shi. I didn't send him to go and be an evangelist. He is going from village to village doing atrocities, telling lies there to turn away people from myself. They bring water to you to buy and say this water is holy water. If you drink this water, it will go, the power of God is inside. It will do like this. It will do like this. It's a lie. God says they are lies. They are liars. He didn't send them. Sunkaorua muku. Harma suna sardashi. Mkunsha wana rua. Zei muku haka. Zei muku haka. Kariane. Makariatane. Bang aike suba. Apanda suke hii. Kariane. The water is the water of the word of God. What I am preaching you are hearing now. Is the water of the word of God. Is the water of life. If you believe what I am saying now. You are going to be cleansed. Your tongue is going to be cleansed. Your heart is going to be cleansed. That is the real water of life. Ruan kwa itache ruan kalma madawami kalma mehrei idang kungas kanta wana waze dana chei idang kungas kata da kalma nanda kucheji wana ruan rei ze tarika cheku ze meda ku ya kuzama tab kuzama abmasu albarku they bring to you oil and say this is anointing oil go and put it in your business place go and anoint your house go put in your tongue drink it they are liars. Suna kawo muku mai sun kira shi mai shafawa ku tafi da wannan mai a wuraren sai ruwanku ku tafi da wannan mai kuna sha domin ku samu aka duka sun zama masu kariya ne those things are not true they are they are giving you demonic spirit they they come and say we are prophet we are preachers we are evangelists they are bringing they are bringing demons to you to render your situation worse than you have been. When Nabubwa Baba Sunanda Gaskiaba Sumna Mbaku Ruhu Al Jenuni Suna Zua Wurin Kusuche Su Sunzama Masu Bishara Sunzama Masu Wa Azi Sunzama Pastochi Suna Baku Ruhu Al Janu Sujue Rayuanku Damuanku Yakari Yakari. These prophets prophesy lie. They look at you and say, I see death before you. 
I am seeing that in three weeks you are dying. The Lord has shown me that your uncle has already prepared date for you. But then there is a solution. God has shown me how there is a solution. And if you can give this amount of money, if you can do this and I will fast for you, I, I will pray for you and I, something will happen to your uncle. It is a lie. When namuta ni makari atabasu de gaskia. That's what's over in ka. So che. Ah, naganka. Ubangiji ya nuna mung. Mutua na binka. Badaka juma ba. Soranka da 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 kwa naki kadane. Koku maza su che. Ah, ya sora makoni uku. Kaunka. Kaunka yena so ya kasheka. Idanka ya da. Ni zante macheka. Zayi maka adoi. Harimada azumi. Domi intanja wana. Kariane. God says he didn't send them. Ubangiji Allah ya tebe aikesuba. That dream he said he saw, that vision is the imagination of his heart. Wanchan ruya, wanchan mafarki, de yache ya geni tunanini nazuchia. That is what, and yet you preferred lies than truth. Do the haka. Kumbiso kariya fie da gaskia. Because he is promising you salvation without repentance. Wanchan mutun. He is not telling you to stop your sins. He is not telling you to stop your wicked lie. To confess your lies. No. He is just saying, God will bless you. God will do it for you. I will bless you. It's a lie. God says he didn't send him. You are following that truth will never work. That lie, it will never work for you. That is why we have so many preachers in the world. That is why many preachers have preached on this ground. Many preachers have come here. They have not been able to serve people. Why? They are telling them lies. Dalili kwa shire muna de masuwa azi diewa awana wuri diewa suriga sunzo sunyiwa azi anang ama basu iya chanja muta aniba domi masukariani how do you think you will be saved except you ask God to forgive your wicked life your dirty life forgive you for your lying tongue and that God will change you and make you righteous how do you think God will bless you in your sin Yaya kana tunaniza kachanja. Yaya kana tunaniza kasamu cheto. Seka rabuda muguntanka. Seka rabuda arshi nkariya. Seka karibi yesu. Yesu neze chanja ka. The Bible say he that hided his sins shall not prosper. You are hiding it from your friend. You are hiding it from your leader. You are hiding it from your husband. You are hiding it from your wife. You have never confessed and you know it is a lie. You are sitting on a lie. How can you be said? You will never prosper if you hide your sin. Lita hii meseriki eche. Dukwenda ya boye zunubisa. Baze chiga baba. Kana boye zunubima. Matanka, kina boye zinubi maa megidenki, kuna boye zinubi maa shugabanenku, kuna boye zinubi, harima kuna azama akang kariya ya yaza kuchigaba. Let it is the truth that will make you free. It is when you hear the true gospel from the true God, from the true messenger, then you will receive the spirit of truth walking in your life to give salvation to you. Saki yana iya zuwa ne, Tawari jing gaskia, gaskia abakin Allah. But gaskia abakin wanda ya aika. Aka inkwa ze kao sakia arayuamu. What is the end of liars? Menene karisheng makariyata. The people who are telling lies. Wa enda suke fadakariya. Some people, God told them Jesus is the son of God. They say no. If you refuse to receive Jesus, to believe that Jesus is the son of God, you have made God a liar. Dewa ana ga musu cewa Yesu dan Allah ne amma sun ki ba su yadda ba idan ka ki gaskanta Yesu dan Allah ne ka meda Allah 
makariachi in the book of first john chapter 5 a cikin littafin yahaya ta fare sura 5 verse 10 aya goma he that believeth on the son of god hath the witness in himself he that believeth not god hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that god gave of his son when the ya ba da gaskiya ga dan allah yana da shedan a cikin sa wanda bai gaskanta allah ba ya mishe shi makariya ci da shike ba ya gaskanta sheda sheda wadda allah yayi a bisa dan sa ba you are charging god with a lie because he said jesus is his son ka me da allah me kariya saboda ya ce yesu dan sa ne if you do not understand ask questions but don't charge god with lie in ma baka gane ba kai tambaya amma kada ka ce allah makariya ci ne let all religions of men be lies but god be true ko wani addini na mutane su zama addinin kariya amma allah me gaskiya God cannot change. God cannot be a liar. Allah ba ya sakiya. Allah ba zai zama makariyaci ba. He sent Jesus into the world to save mankind. Ya tura Yesu a duniya domin ceton mutane. He sent Jesus into the world that you should all men should believe on the Lord Jesus. Ya tura Yesu zuwa duniya saboda mutane su gaskanta da Yesu that all men should submit their lives to Jesus cewa domin mutane su mika rayuwar su ma Yesu for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life kama Allah ya aika dan sa a duniya domin dukan wayanda sun ba da gaskiya a gare shi kada su lallace amma su samu rai na madawa for you to reject jesus you have said god is a liar amma saboda ka ki yesu kana cewa allah ya zama makariya ci ne because you do not understand the words you are thinking it after manner of men on earth he said god doesn't have a wife did god tell you he has a wife did god tell you he gave birth to jesus listen jesus and god the father god the holy spirit is one person saboda baka gane kalman ba kana cewa yesu ai shi ba dan allah bane saboda allah bai da mata allah ya ga maka cewa yana da mata ne ba wai allah ya aifi yesu ba ka ji da kyau allah uba da yesu daya ne god said let us make man in our image man should be like us allah ya ce bari mu yi mutum cikin kamanin mu domin mutum kuwa ya zama kamar mu man is body soul and spirit three separate persons in man separate body from the soul being separate from the from the spirit of man is separate mutum ya zama jiki ya yana da rai kuma ya zama ruhu duka gababuwa nan duka daban-daban ne amma sun zama sun hadu sun zama mutun daya man is one person but is three separate being personalities in him mutun shi guda ne amma yana da gababuwa guda uku a jikin shi and so god created man to resemble him to be like himself he is three separate person but one god saboda haka allah ya halici mutun domi ya zama da kamar nisa domi shi allah daya ne amma yana da kashi kashi uku god the father jesus christ which uh, and the holy spirit are three separate persons but one god as the body the soul the spirit in man are three separate things but one man allah uba allah da da ruhu mai sarki duka daya ne allah haka kuma mutun yana da kamanin allah yana da jiki yana da ruhu 
As everybody in the world is a son to, to somebody. No man is in the world that is not a son to somebody. So, Jesus Christ came as the son of God. But it's very God that came to this world to serve mankind. So, do not to believe in God. You have made him a liar. What will happen to all these liars, children of the devil, including you, that up to today, you don't have a true tongue? What will happen to you? Kaki gaskantada Allah, kamed de shima kariyachi, sabo da haka, menene ze faru da wena makariyata, da sunki gaskanta, harma da kaida harwa yo, kaki rabuwa de kariya, do miba ka gaskantada Allah wa. In Revelation chapter 21, I read verse 8. Zan karanta chiki litafin, waha yin yahaya, sura ashirinda dea aya takwas. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, murderers, and homongers, and sorcerers, and, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire and brimstone, which is the second dead. Wonder, Amma, Gamasorata, the Marasabangaskia, the Masu Kazanta, the masu kisan kai da fasikai da masu sihiri da masu bautan gumaka da dukan makariyata rabon su yana cikin kurama mai konewa da wuta ta kibiritu mutuwa ta biyu kenan god will wipe away sinners liars who together with satan their father to the lake of fire allah zai sharanta there is no small lie. There is no big lie. Lie is lie. There is no black lie. There is no white lie. Lie is lie. Lie is lie. And the Lord has come to deliver you from the danger of the life of lie. Because death is coming upon you because you are sitting on a lie. Judgment. Come, is coming upon you because you have told lies. Sharia nazua akanka saboda kafa da kariya. But the Lord has sent us to tell you He can forgive you. Amma Allah ya aikomu gareka saboda shize kafar tamaka. To tell you He can change you. Saboda. He can change your tongue. He will walk on your fearful heart that makes you always to tell lies. He will take over your life to provide for you so that poverty should not be the reason why you are always telling lies. Jesus tells us in John 14 verse 6 Jesus said unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man come unto the father but by me Jesus said unto him I am the way the truth and the life Nine gaskia, nine rei, ba mezua wurin uba, se taurina. Come to Jesus, he will put you in the truth. Zori Yesu, ze adanaka akang gaskia. Come to Jesus, 
he will give you the spirit of truth zo wajen yesu ze baka ruhun gaskiya come to jesus he will give you the heart of truth zo wajen yesu ze baka zuchia na gaskiya come to jesus he will teach you the way of life that is in the truth zo wajen yesu ze nuna maka hanya na rayuwan gaskiya the lost sent him to you he is god the savior of mankind he has the power to change you and remove lie from you allah ya aiko shi a rayuwanka shine macetonka yana da iko domi ya canja rayuwanka come to jesus he has defeated the spirit of lie he has conquered satan the father of lie he will he will deliver you from satan zo wurin yesu yana da iko ya riga yayi nasara akan shedan uban makaryata ya riga ya ci wa shedan buri zai kawo ka zai raba ka da shedan makaryata he said he will sprinkle clean water over your life ya riga ya ce zai yayyafa ruwa mai tsafta a rayuwanka to remove all this dust of lie that cover your body ya cicire wayennan kura na kariya da sun rufe ka to remove this stain dark stain of lie that is in your tongue ya cire wannan dotti dottin duhu da yana a cikin arshen ka to take away that power that moves you to tell lies every time ya raba ka da wannan iko a rayuwanka da yake izaka kai kariya kullu yomi he will give you the spirit of god from heaven zai da baka ruhun allah da kasama the spirit of truth ruhu na gaskiya you will now learn to be telling the truth zaka kwaya ka kuma tifara fadan gaskiya and you will enjoy liberty because ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free daka kwa samu yanci domi daka san gaskiya gaskiya kwa za ta yanta da kai you are always afraid because you have buried the truth you are sitting on a lie and you know buried the truth it shall rise after 3 days what you have spoken as a lie the truth shall be discovered to your shame kulla yomi kana soro domi ka riga ka binna kariya ka san cewa ka binna kariya bayan kwana uku kariya no he, they bury the truth and lie now is what is standing kun kun boye kun riga kun binne gaskiya yanzu kariya ne yanzu yana kai ka san cewa in ka binne gaskiya bayan kwana uku zai tashi that thing you are hiding that truth you are hiding shall be revealed wancan gaskiya da kake boyewa wancan gaskiya da kake rufewa ba zai juma ba zai fita and when it is revealed what a great shame will come upon your life amma bayan da ya bayyana wani irin kunya ne zaka samu a rayuwan when it is revealed what a great judgment will come upon you idan ya bayyana wani irin mummunan shari'a ne zai zo maka but jesus said come to me i will save you from the shame that is coming for your lying life yesu yana cewa zo waje na zan raba ka da wannan kunya da yake zuwa maka saboda rayuwanka na kariya come to me all those record of lies that are written against you waiting for when the law will judge you i will wipe them away zo waje na wannan rohoto ko kuma ajiya na kariya da suke a rayuwanka zan share su raba ka da su come to me my blood that i shed on the cross shall wash lie out of your life shall change your life and wash away every kind of sin out of your life zo urina jini da nazuba akan giciye zai wanke ka da kowane rayuwan kariya 
Come to me. I will separate you from that employment of lies. Some people have employed you. You have been telling lies because that's the job you are eating with. Jesus has better work for you. Come to me. I will save you from those people. Jesus is calling unto you. God is not a man that he shall lie. A man who lies, come to God to give you a new life. Do umutu wanda yazo wuri yesu yesu ze bashi sabon rayuwa God hates lies Ubengiji yena gaba da kariya Let's rise up upon our feet and go before the Lord in prayer Mumike se muhi atua wa Allah yenzu Stand up and say Lord I am a liar I have told many lies. I've separated people through lies. I've killed other people through lies. I've affected families through lies. I have brought about tribal wars through lies. I have trained up people to do evil by telling them lies. But God forgive me. Allah kagafatamu. I will not do this again. Bazang ay katawan na kumabang. God change my life. O Allah katanja rayuata. I don't want to be a sinner. Bana son zama me zunubi. I don't want to be an immoral person. Bana son zama me lalata. I tell lies and commit many many adulteries through lying. Ina ina yung karya. I told lies and steal and get money and get many things falsely. I don't want to be a liar. I don't want to go to hellfire. You tell testimonies that didn't happen, things that didn't happen, you say them, you are a liar. I don't want to be a liar. I don't want to be a liar. Tell God you should forgive your lying lie. You want to give your life to Jesus. Let Jesus come into your life. Sing this song after me. Rera wana waka bayanda na rera. Into my heart. Into my heart Come into my heart Lord Jesus Come in today Come in to stay Come in to my heart Lord Jesus, sing it into my heart. Into my heart. Into my heart. Into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Change my life. Come in today. Come in to stay. And change my life from sin. Come into my life. Lord Jesus. Now you want to give your life to Jesus. Raise up your hand where you are. The Lord will wash you with clean water. 
kana so ka bada rayuwanka ma Yesu daga hano inda kake Allah zai wanke ka da ruwa mai tsafta the lord will take, drive away the lion spirit from your life Allah zai raba ka da rayuwa na kariya the lord will give you the spirit of god the spirit of truth the spirit of righteousness ubangiji zai baka ruwa na Allah ruwa na gaskiya da ruhun adalci now walk inside here i want to pray for you fito nan gaba ina so in addu'a maka yes come forward come forward fito gaba fito gaba come with repentance and say god i'm sorry fito da rayuwan tuba ka ce allah the devil spoiled my life the devil spoiled me oh god repair my life shaitan ya bata rayuwa na shaitan ya bata ni ya ubangiji ka gyara rayuwa ta the devil taught me this lies oh god change my life shaitan ne ya koya mun wannan kariya ya ubangiji canja rayuwa ta i have many things that are not my own it is just lies i'm telling to keep them na da na tare da muta na bubuwa da yawa da ba nawo ba nayi kariya ne domin amshe su oh lord forgive me all my sin ya ubangiji ka gafarta mun duka zunubaina come for what and tell jesus fito gaba ka ga yawa yesu everybody listening again into my heart come in and invite jesus to your love fito gaba ka ga yeci yesu a rayuwanka come in to today coming to stay some of you are having charms lying charms saying that hey it will protect you it will do this lies wadan sun kukun karbi asiri kuna amfani da zobe kuna amfani da laya kun ce zai kare ku Now tell Jesus to come and save you from the devil. Yanzu ga wa Yesu yazo ya raba ka da shaitan. You don't want to die a sinner. Ba ka so ka mutu a sai wa kai mai zunubi ne. Every kind of sin you have committed, may God forgive you. Tell him ko wani irin zunubi da ka aikata bari Allah ya gafarta maka ka ga ya masa. every kind of sin may god forgive you of it ko wani irin zunubi bari ubangiji ya raba ka da su amen amen i want you to pray this prayer with me ina so ku memeta wannan addu'a tare da say lord jesus the message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide holiness revival movement worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades revival meetings production and spread of holiness literature and materials For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you 
for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe. I believe 
You are the 